Welcome to another video on my channel. Today we will be comparing four of the most popular 3D scanning apps for iOS and Android. The apps that we will be comparing today are Kiri Engine, Polycam, Metascan and PhotoCatch. Please keep in mind that we will be only looking at the photogrammetry options provided by these apps and we will judge them based on their free plans. First up, we will be taking a look at Polycam, which is available on iOS and Android. When first opening Polycam, you need to sign in using your email. After that, it should open directly into the capturing screen. If not, you just have to click on the plus in the lower right corner. Polycam gives you multiple 3D scanning options like LiDAR, rule scan and photogrammetry. But since we are here to compare photogrammetry, we will stick with the default photo mode. After you have taken your images, you can proceed by clicking done. After that, you can choose the output quality and if you want to use object masking. I will be using object masking in every app on this list to ensure that the algorithms are not confused by the rotating of our object. Once you're finished, just click Upload to upload your model. The upsides of using Polycam are that it is very beginner-friendly, it has a high photo limit, it allows for lens switching, and it has automatic photo taking. The downsides are that it has significant shutter lag when using the manual picture taking mode, and it has very slow upload speeds. Next on our list is Metascan, which is sadly only available for iOS. When first opening Metascan, just like with every other app on our list, you have to sign in. After that, you have to click the white plus in the bottom middle to open your capturing screen. Metascan has an interval scanning mode that takes pictures after a set time. Once you're done capturing, click down and select a detail level. Unfortunately, you can only use the medium detail setting. As for the higher detail levels, you need the Pro subscription. Once you're finished, simply click on Process to begin uploading. Upsides of Metascan include a simple user interface, no photo limit and an option for interval photo taking. Downsides are that you cannot use detail levels higher than medium, as that requires a pro subscription. Up next is Kiri Engine, which is available for iOS and Android. In the Kiri Engine app, you need to click on the grey plus and select photo scan, then take photos. Kiri Engine offers interval photo taking as well as automatic image taking. Kiri also has manual camera controls for settings like exposure and shutter speed. Sadly, Kiri Engine has a picture limit of only 70 pictures. But when you're finished, click on the arrow to advance to the next screen. Then give your model name and choose quality settings for mesh and texture. Finally, click on upload to begin uploading. Upsides of Curie Engine include manual camera settings and automatic as well as interval picture taking. Downsides of Curie Engine are that it has only a 70 picture limit. The last on our list is PhotoCatch, which is only available for iOS. After opening PhotoCatch, click on Create a 3D model, then on Use Photos, next click on Take New Photos. PhotoCatch offers a customizable interval picture taking timer, as well as grid lines for lining up your shot.
Once you're finished, click on done and give your model a name. Then select a model quality and hit send to cloud to upload your images. Upsides of PhotoCatch include customizable interval picture taking as well as grid lines. Downsides of PhotoCatch are that it has slow upload speeds. Next up, we will be having a look at the resulting 3D models and their texture. First up, we'll be having a look at PolyCam. As you can see, the PolyCam model isn't without flaws. There are some spots under the antlers which are reconstructions of the background and should not be there. Also, on the backside of the moose, there are stretch textures. Speaking of textures, they also appear to be pretty low resolution. As for the mesh, it doesn't have a lot of detail and it seems like the 3D model has undergone some sort of smoothing, which means that a lot of the detail, especially in the fur, has been lost. But to give credit to Polycam, there were no visible holes in the 3D model. Next up is PhotoCatch. PhotoCatch surprised me right off the bat with its very high quality textures. But despite that, this model would realistically be unusable, as it has large holes in the back of the moose and under its arm. There are also a lot of white spots which seem to be reconstructions of the background under the antler and the arm. If it wasn't for those problems, it would be one of the highest quality meshes we have so far. Next up is Metascan, which gave us a less saturated texture which made it look more like how it was in real life. As for the texture, it is high quality and sharp, but not as sharp as the one from PhotoCatch. But compared to the other models, I could not really find any errors in this one. While the mesh is not as detailed as the one from PhotoCatch, it has at least not undergone any smoothing like the one from Polycam. Last in the lineup is the one from Kiri Engine, which by far has the best mesh quality and amazing texture. But sadly, this model also isn't without its flaws. Just like the PhotoCatch model, it has a gaping hole in the back of the moose and quite some texture errors under the antlers. If it weren't for that, this one would definitely be the winner. But because it has so many problems, I would have to give the win to Metascan, as their model has no holes, no real texture issues, and seems to be overall in great quality. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. The link to the Metascan 3D model will be down below where you can download it from my Sketchfab. Also consider following me there, as I regularly host 3D models which are free to use. So if you are interested, why don't you go check it out. And with that, have a nice day.